Today's video has been sponsored by Top Don. Uh, they sent me out a piece of equipment to uh, review and show you and my viewers uh, what it's all about. So this is what they've sent me out. A car battery tester. Uh, as you all know, I've had issues with my uh, battery over the past few weeks and they've sent me out this piece of equipment to um, show you how it works. Um, they have a Amazon store, which this is retailing at $49.99. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, the main website also has all the products, um, some history and everything else about the company. I'll also leave a link in the description for that. If you're interested, they do things for the DIYer like myself, all the way up to the really expensive four, five, six thousand pounds worth of um, testing equipment for cars uh, and vans and stuff. So if you're interested, have a look. Without further ado, let's have a closer look at, at the item. So it just comes in a uh, pop open thing. I made that difficult, didn't I? Uh, there are instructions on the back. So it's quite, it's quite small. Um, it feels quite, it doesn't feel cheap. The micro switches in the, the actual unit itself are quite good. Um, it feels robust, definitely. Um, let's have a look at the instructions. It's full instructions there, but what um, the product description is is probably best to have a look at because there's a table here, down here, with regards to um, places in the world and. Um, how batteries are measured. Now we're obviously in uh, Great Britain, so we'll measure ours between uh, 30 and 200 amps per hour. Uh, so uh, common, what, 1.6 petrol would probably have a 55 uh, amp battery. If you don't understand how it's measured, it's measured in AH, uh, amps per hour. So if it's 55 amps per hour, and one light bulb takes one amp per hour, you can give power to that light bulb for 55 hours or 55 light bulbs for one hour. So it's you need to know that. Also, you need to know what type of battery you have. Uh, like obviously back in the day, it was just all acid batteries and that was it and you topped it up. But uh, they have different ones now. There's AGM and gel. There's, there's still the um, the ones that you top up the acid. Um, but you need to know what type of battery you are testing that's in your car. Uh, easily done by checking the details on the battery. And if it doesn't state on the battery, another easy way it, for telling if it's a, a one you top up, if you actually pick the battery up and shake it in your ear, you'll hear it splashing around. Um, they're, they're the liquid ones that you top up and you'll also be able to see on top of the battery um, where you actually fill it up and it'll say on the battery that don't overfill and stuff like that. So there are general rules that you can follow. Um, if not, have a good Google before you even test the battery because uh, you need to know what which one you have. So as I was saying, with regards to the battery, you'd need to check on the side information if you didn't know but I know this is a liquid filled one because you can see uh, here and I know on the side of it also says um, it's on the other side uh, don't overfill so you know this is a liquid cooled one uh, a liquid one what we do and it should power it on Right, there we go. Look 
click OK. I'm going to do a battery test first. Um, it's a regular flooded battery, as I just said, liquid. We're in GB, and as you can see on that one, there it's 55 amps per hour. So with your direction buttons, 55 and click OK. There you go, the health of the battery is 100%. So we know the battery's good. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to do a crank test. Just follow the instructions on the screen. I need to start the engine. is normal. demonstration uh, on another battery uh, this one's out of the car um, it's been on charge it's a slightly different battery but it is um, a flooded battery uh, like I said previously if you give it a quick shake you can hear it inside whereas an AGM or gel battery you wouldn't hear anything um, it does actually have uh, refill points under the sticker on the top um, but there's no point in uh, doing that so, get the tester again, positive, negative, click OK, it's a battery test, now obviously this is just to prove that you can do it out of the car as well, uh, this is as I said a regular flooded battery, this is actually um, a 72 uh, amps per hour so we go for regular flooded um, UK GB um, so it goes up in increments of five so logic states you go to the nearest full so 70 is the nearest um, and we click OK and allow it to do the test And there we go. Uh, it's a good battery. It's got 100% um, health. Uh, charges at 87%. I'm not sure it's been. It might have been sat around for quite some time. This after it had been charged, but it is a spare. Um, so there we go. That's how it works. It's that simple. So my final thoughts on uh, the ba the uh, battery tester. Um, 
is it worth buying one? Uh, 49.99 for this. Uh, link in the description. Uh, I think so personally as a car enthusiast. I think it's a great thing to have um, in your arsenal of tools at home. Uh, the only thing that lets it down in my eyes. Um, for a car enthusiast, a DIYer, is the fact it doesn't come in um, its own storage box or a cloth type bag or something to keep it in. So you're going to have to keep uh, the plastic thing. It's, it's not so bad if you actually have a, a proper uh, mechanics toolbox. Uh, you can just pop it in one of your drawers and leave it there. As a mechanic, I'd have one. Uh, because the garage you work at will more than likely have a very expensive one that prints out all the stuff. But for me, I'd have, have, have it in my toolbox. But as a DIYer, I don't have a toolbox. So I have, I'm going to have to keep it in the packaging that it comes in. Uh, so I'd, I'd give it a, a strong 9 out of 10, definitely, uh, to buy. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope Top Don... Um, aren't too mad I, I took a while to do this video uh, because they were kind enough to send me this out for free to do a review and stick it on the channel uh, thanks for watching see you all soon